Good morning. Welcome to another weigh-in day. Yes, I did. <sighs> a little chilly out here this morning, but not chilly enough for my jacket. But I'm going to tell you what. I hear, work the plan and the plan works. Work the plan and the plan works. I'm not saying it don't, but I'm not saying it does every single time. Because, and I'm a little PO'd about it. I had a game this week. I'm not. I am not happy. I'm not even gonna sit here and smile and blow it off like, oh, okay, it'll be better next week. Because that's not how I feel right now. And I'm not coming to y'all with some kind of fake uh, Pollyanna <laughs> situation. No. Now I stayed in my points all week. I had pizza last weekend because it was my eat out day. Did not go over my points. I did not go over my points. I ate my weeklies, but I finished it all up last night. I met a um, dear sweet subscriber, Judy Lowe. I'm going to put a picture of us at the end. <coughs> her and her husband were are in the process of moving from up north to down south. I'm not going to tell you where because you might stalk her. <laughs> anyway, they made a special trip through. They first came through and met Joan and Denise, and then they made a special stop right here in my town to meet me. I thought that was so cool. So, oh, and let me show you. She brought me a little goodie bag, had some things in it, some little notepad, and um, some hunt, uh, not honey maple syrup from up there, and um, some. <laughs> Was it reindeer? Moose poop mints? <laughs> yeah, I went ahead and put them in my pocketbook so I'd have them with my mouth. But she, she gave me a um, Day of the Dead coffee mug. Isn't that pretty? Because y'all know I like the Halloween. So, I th that's what I was saying on my little Happy Meal. One of my Happy Meals, I've got two that I'm going to add on to the end. Um, I love how y'all know me. That means a lot. It does. It it does. It it means that you you know me. Um, but I stayed on the dead gun plan till last night. They were gracious enough to take me out to eat, and we went to a Mexican restaurant. So I had a Mexican, and I'm sure it was full of sodium. But I'm tell you what, I was looking for a salt shaker, and I didn't see one on the table, and I was not going to ask because. Um, I didn't want to insult nobody that their food wasn't salty enough, but I thought that rice could have used a little more, but it was delicious. So I'm saying that to say it did not taste like it was overly full of sodium. It had shrimp, it had rice, it had peppers and onions covered in cheese. So unless that cheese was full of it, I just don't know. But I'll tell you what, I'm up. You ready? 4.1 pounds. There needs to be something in this coffee just to calm me down. <laughs> I'm not going to run on it for two hours, but I'm going to tell you, what's up with that? What is up with that? And yes, I did keep a track of my zero point foods, and no, I don't eat them just like I said. I don't eat them. I, just, I don't know. I don't know. I, what is my body trying to tell me? What is my body trying to tell me? That I can't eat pizza? No, because I've done that plenty in the past. Over these two years, I've had pizza plenty for my treat on the weekend. <clears throat> and then if I stay in my points, that's what they say. I know all foods are not equal, but if they say, this is another thing I always hear, trust the science. Trust the science, okay? Well, if I trust the science, then as long as I stay in my points, no matter what I eat, then I should lose weight. I'm a big old girl, so that weight should just fall off of me. You know what I mean. More more pounds at a time. So instead of gaining four pounds, I should have lost four pounds. It, the fatter you are, the more fat you lose in the beginning. That's just a, a fact. <clears throat> so, I don't know. Anyway, that brings me down. I didn't, I didn't even write the numbers down. That brings me down to 46 something. And here I was at 51. So I, I'm just a little irritated at that I hate to be having such a, a negative Nelly video but like I said I'm not gonna come on here and be somebody that I ain't uh, no y'all ever have those weeks where you just know good and dang well you didn't deserve it 
I, there is no way under the shining sun that I am retaining four pounds worth of fluid from Mexican food last night. There's just no way. So I don't know what happened. I don't know. I'm gonna figure something out this week, and I, this week I can tell you that. I, I, I'm gonna figure something out because this ain't gonna happen again. I am not going back to accepting the. <coughs> excuse me. Hold on. I'm not going back to accepting the whole up and down, up and down bull crap because that's what it was for so long until he adjusted my medicine and things started showing up for me and I was losing weight. At all them weeks, I kept losing weight. Then last week, I had that little bit of gain, not a pound, almost. And then this week, four pounds? Come on. So, rent over. I'm gonna try to fix it this week and see where it goes. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> but I had the best time last night with Judy and her husband. We sat there for I don't know three or more hours. We we were sitting there. She she told when we sat down. Judy said, "Now we're gonna be here for a while. Haven't seen her in a long time, and we got some chatting to do." <laughs> and I was like, "Never is a pretty long time." <laughs> she goes, "Ain't it though?" <laughs> But we had we just had a good old time talking about just all kind of stuff and laughing. So I enjoyed that. Thank you again, Judy and Terry. It was so nice to meet you in person. And I did have fun and I appreciate the meal. Her husband, he was bossy. He's like, you better bring that on one check. <laughs> he wasn't bossy. Very nice man. He's a very nice man. So, if you're listening, Terry, you're a nice man. <laughs> Judy got her a good one, I do believe, even though he can't hear no better than David can. <laughs> they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, I don't know that I know anything to talk about this morning. I really don't. I had Sebastian. Oh, my God. You know what this kid did? You know what this kid did? Listen, as sweet as he is, he drives me crazy sometimes because... I cannot keep up with him. He is working me. He, he's overworking me. And there has been a situation arise to where I don't have any help now for the rest of the month. I won't have any help watching him. So it'll go back to the days when I could watch him, but it was getting worse. Now I will have him all the time, except for a couple days when he's off. So I will have him all day except for about three hours when RJ gets to see him and then he'll bring him back. That's going to be three days in a row, sometimes two days in a row. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Y'all better pray for me. I'm. Y'all think I'm joking. Y'all better pray for me because he, he's just so active and he needs something every, every time. I told you there's that button in my chair every time my butt hits it. Mama, mama, mama. And he is all the time and y'all know I have this thing with sounds and noises I, I, I get um, sensory overload I just do it's not his fault he's three it's what they do but I can't change how my body and senses react so yesterday he had went in there he was supposed to be laying in the bed because he was in time out well I let him get up you know, you leave them for a certain amount of time and then you let them get up. You don't leave them in there forever because then they don't forgot why they're in there. Well, and he knew he was going. He knew the consequences of what he did. If he did it again, he was going to bed. And he did it again, so I stuck to my word. He walks in there and then he, he holds up his hands. He goes, something's on my hand. Something is on my hand, Momo. I said, let me see. He goes, I, I don't know what it is. That kid had got up and got a pen out of the holder <laughs> on the computer and drew all over his hand, all the way up his arm. I'm like, you gonna tell me you don't know where that comes from? <laughs> I'm like, where you get that? He said, in the basket, in the computer. <laughs> so meek and mild about it. I'm like, that's it. I messaged his daddy. His daddy got off of work and he was doing some things at his house. I said, you better come on, get him now. I can't take it no more. 
<laughs> he finished up some stuff and come got him. Well, I got two days off. I got, knock on wood, I told David, call him in because they need to hire people at his job and they need to get on the ball. Well, I think maybe this is one dude who, who ain't no count and he calls in all the time. Well, they call RJ in. I said, you better tell them your mama can't watch him like that. You better tell them they can't call you in. <laughs> you better not go in. So knock on wood, I'm supposed to have tonight off. I had last night off, which I already told him no matter what he was doing, I had to go meet Judy. So you had to have him. Um, and I'm supposed to have the night off and then I'll get him sometime tomorrow because RJ has to sleep during the day. So then I'll have him basically around the clock for the next three days after that. So I'm telling you, I'm going to be just dog tired mentally and physically so that's pretty much all I know I hear my alarm going off he is the best um, alarm stopper he yells at her Alexa stop I mean to the top of his lungs and she listens she stops he also will go over there there is a song called hand clap by Fitz and the Tantrums I can hear your hand clap did it did it and you clap so ever since he was oh my gosh I don't know he was young I will play that for him just because you get the hand clap it's a pop song it's not a children's song so um, he would be in his car seat in the back and then I would start clapping so he claps well now that's like one of his favorite songs he wants to hear it all the time he will go up and he'll say Alexa he used to call her Malexa <laughs> Alexa, play hand clap. Sure enough, here it starts playing. He will do that a hundred times if you let him. <laughs> I'm finally just like, no. Nix it on the hand clap. <laughs> uh, but I am enjoying having him. I just, I just can't handle him like I used to could. So, oh, and today, I'll come back and tell y'all about that whenever my next video is, I guess, is the um, surgeon's video visit. He will explain to me how my MRI has changed and how my bone density um, came out. So, I don't know. I told David it's just more tests to have to be turned out again. I ain't looking forward to no kind of good news. Because um, even if he says he'll do it like he did last time, his board's going to say no. They're going to poo-poo it. And, and Lord, I hate I, I was so excited to tell him how I was losing weight. And now i got to tell him I gained weight? Uh-uh. No. He asked me had I seen their bariatric services. I said, no, but if you want me to, I will. You know, it ain't like I can have no surgery. My insurance ain't going to pay for it. I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to lie to you because I don't lie to you. If my insurance pay for it, I would have that surgery tomorrow. I would go get my, whatever it is they do in there for bariatric surgery, I would do it tomorrow. That is how desperate I am to get my back and my knees fixed. I don't care if you say, oh, it'll come back. I, I don't care. Let me take that chance. Let me get myself fixed and carried on and we'll see. So, my insurance won't pay for it and obviously we can't pay for it. So, that's that. Well, hadn't this been a lovely, lovely video? Ugh. I hate coming to y'all in such a grumpy mood. Just old sourpuss. But anyway, let me go in there and turn that alarm off. And what you're going to see next is some happy mail. So I was happy this week. <laughs> I was happy this week. <laughs> Till this morning. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Oh my gosh. I am a little <laughs> I'm a little ill about this. I got some happy mail from Anna over Anna's Journey to a healthier life and I made a happy mail video of it and now I have accidentally deleted it and I've deleted it to the point to where I can't recover it and I'm just I'm so upset because I'm, I wanted to show you I had a box full of goodies I had a box full I've already I've already just like Christmas when you get your goodies you go ahead and put them up where they go I've already put everything up where it, where it goes so I, I got, I'll take you in there and show you one thing I got for Halloween that I got like uh, I do have out these, um, she knows how I like napkins, so fall, and I had not seen the blue truck, so 
I've already made a basket with those. I did that the day I got them. I made a um, fall basket. And then I did have these two notepads out um, to do. And what's that say? Today I will sparkle. Yes, I will. I, listen, I got to sparkle. After the the weighing video I just did for y'all, I got to learn how to sparkle today. I can't let it bring me down. And then I got an owl. I got it over here on my wall. Um, some craft um, items. Put it this way, she knew what to send me. She she um sent me a, a box full of goodies. So, and I do appreciate it. And I'm sorry, my initial um video. I'm sorry, I, I I do that all the time. I get I get erased happy because my phone will fill up. And y'all know I've been recording before, and I'll have to say, hold on, my phone gives me a notice I'm filling up. And so I, I'll delete stuff, and I I delete it by accident. So anyway, let me go in there and turn you around and show you the um. Halloween thing that she gave me. Okay, I got smart and put the light on my <laughs> my camera. Sometimes I forget I can do that. I can actually have a light when it's pointing away from me. If it's pointing at myself, I can't, so I'll still be dark. But anyway, it this um, little witch right here, you take the little blocks out, and this is a countdown to Halloween, so we're 16 days to Halloween. Um, so you know she knew I liked the witches. Everything, everything in that box was something thoughtful to what she knows I like. So, thank you again, Anna. I really do appreciate it. Uh, hey, I just wanted to show you another Happy Mail I got. I'm just going to hold it like this a minute because I have to turn it around and show it to you. It's not something that I want to pick up. This was from Donna Howarth, and it's so cute. Donna, I thank you so much. When I got the box and it said fragile, I was like, oh, I wonder what that is. So, let me turn you around and show you what Donna sent. Check it out. It's this little owl teapot. Got the lid. And then comes a part like that for your cup. Isn't that the cutest thing? She says she just knew I had to have it. <laughs> uh, I love how y'all know me. That is so fun. So Donna, thank you again. I appreciate it a lot.